Questions 1 to 4. Conversation. Listen to a conversation on campus between a professor and a student. Hi, Professor Taylor. Hi, Jack. I was hoping that I could talk with you for a few minutes. It's about the test. Oh, okay. Well, I've never taken an open book test, and I just don't know what to expect. Does that mean I can use my book during the test as a reference? Exactly. And you can use your notes in the handouts, too. Really? Yes. But, Jack, since you've never taken an open book test, I should warn you, it isn't as easy as it seems. Because? Because you don't have enough time to look up every answer and still finish the test. Oh. That's the mistake that most students make. You see, the purpose of an open book test is to allow you to look up a detail or make a citation. But the students who are looking up every answer spend too much time on the first few questions, and then they have to leave some of the questions at the end blank. So it's important to pace yourself. It is. The test's one hour long, and there are 20 questions, so you have to be working on question 10 in half an hour. Right. That's clear enough. So, how do I prepare for an open book test? Well, the first thing to do is to organize your notes into subject categories, so you can refer easily to topics that might appear in the test questions. And then study your book, just like you would for any other test. Well, some people mark passages in the book with flags to make it easier to locate certain facts. But other than that, just prepare for a test like you usually do. Right. Uh, Professor Taylor, could I ask you, um, why are you making this test open book? I mean, we have to study for it like always, so I hope you don't mind that I asked. I'm, I'm just curious. I don't mind at all, Jack. I think an open book test provides an opportunity for real learning. Too many of my students used to memorize small facts for a test and then forget all about the broad concepts. I want you to study the concepts so you'll leave my class with a general perspective that you won't forget. Wow, I can relate to that. Most people can. But the way I see it, this is a psychology class, not a memory class. Well, thanks for taking the time to explain everything, Dr. Taylor. You're welcome, Jack. See you next week, then. Okay. Have a nice weekend. You too. One. Why does the man go to see his professor? Two. Listen again to part of the conversation. Then answer the following question. Yes, but Jack, since you've never taken an open book test, I should warn you, it isn't as easy as it seems. Because? Because you don't have enough time to look up every answer and still finish the test. Why does the student say this? Because... Three. How should Jack prepare for the test? Four. Why does the professor give open book tests? Question.